Well, let us continue with another pound for pound video following the video on Edwin Valero, more retired fighter videos to come. Um, and I have now finished my list. Yes, I have finished my list of fighters I am going to do retired before October. After that, there will be no more um, until after October where one will come every blue moon. Um, so that's a bit of a strange one I'll have to get used to. So let's go through Langford's pound for pound record. So Sam Langford, um, obviously, um, in his first pound-for-pound pound fight, beat former top 10, top 3, and pound-for-pound pound number 1 rated world lightweight champion, the great um, old master Joe Gans. Pound-for-pound pound fight number 2, Sam Langford fought former top 10 rated pound-for-pounder Jack Blackburn, suffering a loss. And then in pound-for-pound pound fight number 3, Sam Langford revisited Jack Blackburn, this time gaining a draw. Pound for pound fight number four was against the loop -a loop puncher, former top 10 rated pound for pounder Dave Holly, which was a defeat. And then in pound for pound fight number five, Sam Langford fought the Barbados Demon himself, top 10 and top three rated pound for pounder Barbados Joe Walcott. Um, that was a draw. Pound for pound fight number six for Langford was a rematch with Dave Holly, top 10 rated, which is another draw. And the same in pound for pound fight number seven, um, back in with the dangerous Dave Holly, um, you know, who was top 10 rated, which which is another draw. Pound pound number eight for um, Sam Langford is a rematch with Jack Blackburn, former top 10 pound for pounder, which is another draw. And then Sam Langford in pound pound fight number nine finally beats the duck over Dave Holly, the dangerous Dave Holly, um, beating the top 10 rated pound for pounder um, for the first time. And he follows that up in pound pound fight number 10 by also gaining his first win after mastering um, Jack Blackburn's style um, in that one fight. He came in and fought a certain style uh, using a long jab and moving out to his left and using left hooks as um, Blackburn came in. Um, and he befuzzled Blackburn and gained his first win over the dangerous Jack Blackburn. Pound pound fight number 11 Langford was another rematch with um, top 10 pound for pounder Jack Blackburn, which was a draw. So a big run of fights there against a number of fighters, um, some dangerous underrated fighters like Holly and Blackburn, and then of course Gans and Barbados Walcott. So he then starts adding more names in pound for pound fight number 12 for Langford um, is against heavyweight Hall of Famer, former top 10 pound for pound rated Joe Jeanette, which is a defeat. However, then in uh, pound for pound fight number 13, Sam Langford comes back and faces Joe Jeanette in a rematch, um, gaining a win. Pound pound fight number 14 for Langford is against the Galveston Giant himself, former top 10, top 3 and pound pound number 1, Jack Johnson. Okay, Langford is a middleweight, Johnson is a heavyweight, Johnson gains the win. Pound pound fight number 15, okay, is a rematch against top 10 rated Joe Jeanette, which is a draw. And then pound, pound, fight, pound for pound fight number 16 is another fight with Joe Jeanette, which also is a draw. But then pound pound fight number 17 for Sam Langford. Sam Langford um, gains his second win over heavyweight Hall of Famer Joe Jeanette, former top 10 pound pounder. And he closes out this first slide, okay, with pound pound fight number 18 um, against the man who um, controversially dethroned Barbados Joe Walcott, Dixit Kid, um, former top 10 pound pounder Sam Langford beats Dixit Kid. So that is Langford's first 18 fights, okay, on his pound for pound record. Um, and of course, Langford has way more than one slide, I'll just say. Um, but you'll have to see through the video how many he ends up with, which is quite a lot. So let us leave this first slide and go on to Langford's next slide of pound for pound fights. Now on this slide, Langford in fight number 19 against a pound for pounder is a rematch with top 10 rated Dixie Kid, which Langford wins again. Sam Langford then in pound for pound fight number 20. I'm getting tongue tied. Pound for pound, fight number 20, he fights the Miss Michigan assassin Stanley Ketchell, top 10, top 3 and pound for pound number 1 rated fighter, Sam Langford of course beats him, and then in pound for pound fight number 21, he goes back in with old rival, top 10 rated pound for pounder Joe Jeanette gaining a win, and then Sam Langford repeats that in pound for pound fight number 22, um, in his latest fight, in his long running series with heavyweight Hall of Famer Joe Jeanette, he scores a second win on the bounce. 
Now, fight number 23 on his pound pound record is against the dangerous heavyweight punching machine Sam McVeigh. Former top 10 pound pounder Sam Langford gains a draw against Sam McVeigh, and then he does gain a win in pound for pound fight number 24 against the very underrated Philadelphia Jack O'Brien. Top 10 and top 3 rated pound for pounder. That is another great win for Langford. Langford then in pound for pound fight number 25 fights Joe Jeanette, his old adversary, at the latest time, gaining his third win on the bounce on this slide. He then enters into a run of fights against Sam McVeigh. Uh, fight number 26 against top 10 pound for pounder Sam McVeigh is a loss. Langford then comes back in fight number 27 um, to gain a win over the dangerous punching Sam McVeigh. Fight number 28 is another win over top 10 pound for pounder Sam McVeigh, as is fight number 29 and fight number 30. Now, of course, during this time, Sam Langford um, was in Australia, okay, and had a whole fight series, okay, um, under McIntosh, the Australian promoter, who set up a number of fights between himself and Sam McVeigh, um, and he had a big fight run, scoring a number of wins over um, Sam McVeigh in 1912, of course. Now, fight number 31 on Langford's pound-for-pound record is a rematch with top 10 puncher Sam McVeigh. This time, Langford gains a draw, and then in pound-for-pound fight number 32, he also gains a draw against... um, heavyweight Joe Jeanette now pound for pound fight number 33 Sam Langford um, is back in with Joe Jeanette this time gaining a win now a new name enters the fray on Langford's record okay one of his longest fight runs um, in fact I believe it is his longest fight run um, that is against the Black Panther the former top 10 pound for pounder Harry Wills the great Harry Wills the first fight ends in a draw Langford in pound for pound fight number 35 then goes back in with Joe Jeanette gaining another draw before then in pound for pound fight number 36 gaining a win over the three time coloured heavyweight champion the top 10 pound for pounder Harry Wills in in fight number 36. So Langford has now capped 36 pound for pound fights, but sadly we are not done yet, okay? So let us go on to the next slide, okay, which is another full one. So Sam Langford in pound for pound fight number 37, okay. Um, pretty much this slide is all against three opponents, okay. Uh, pound for pound fight 37 against Joe Jeanette is a defeat for Sam Langford and then in fight number 38 he goes back in with puncher Sam McVeigh suffering a loss pound for pound fight number 39 for Sam Langford is a draw against Sam McVeigh top 10 pound for pounder and Sam Langford and McVeigh replicate that in fight number 40 which is also a draw Fight number 41 on Langford's pound pound record is against top 10 Black Panther Harry Wills, which is a defeat. And then Sam Langford in fight number 42 suffers another defeat to the Black Panther Harry Wills. Fight number 3, though, Sam Langford turns the key on Wills, gaining a win over, over the former top 10 pound pounder. Before then, also reversing some earlier um, not great results against Sam McVeigh on this slide uh, in fight number 44, gaining his latest win over the great Sam McVeigh. Fight number 45, okay, Langford is back in with Harry Wills again, um, this time suffering a defeat. And in fight number 46, okay, Sam Langford um, fights Sam McVeigh again, gaining another win. Now, fight number 47 is against the Black Panther Harry Wills again. Sam Langford suffers a defeat there. And then in pound pound fight number 48, okay, um, Sam Langford gains a draw against the power puncher Sam McVeigh. Pound for pound fight number 49, okay, is um, against Joe Jeanette, um, top 10 pound for pounder, which is a win for Langford. And then in pound for pound fight number 50, 50 half century, Sam Langford again gains another draw with the dangerous Sam McVeigh. Fight number 51 is a defeat to the three-time coloured heavyweight champion Harry Wills. And fight number 52 um, is a win over old foe Joe Jeanette. And this slide closes out, okay, with two more um, fights against Harry Wills. In fight number 53, Langford suffers a defeat. Um, and fight number 54, he suffers his second defeat um, in a row in pound pound fights. Um, and it, oh, overall, a number of defeats against Harry Wills in a row down this slide when you just look at his fights against Wills, um, suffering another defeat against the great Black Panther. So Sam Langford has now left his prime, okay? Wills is coming into his prime. And, you know, this is what I try and tell idiots, okay? Sam Langford was leaving his prime 1916 into 1917. 1917 to 1921, of course, was when Wills went on a virtual 50 fight on beat and run um, and was in absolutely destructive form, pretty much destroying most opponents in front of him. So it was a clash of, you know, one fighter leaving his prime and a 
another the great fighter coming into his prime. Um, but there is Langford's pound pound record up to fight number 54. So we have one more slide to go to finish on Langford's pound for pound fights. Okay, and then we'll go to his stats. So let us now jump onto the last slide um, and finish Langford's pound for pound record. So, in pound for pound fight number 55, Sam Langford fights Harry Wills again, and he has a whole run of defeats here to Harry Wills. Uh, fight number 55 is a defeat to Harry Wills. Fight number 56 is also a defeat to Harry Wills, as is fight number 57, 58, 59, and 60. As you can see, Langford was gaining some draws and wins, well, a draw and wins earlier against Wills more evenly but after like fight five into fight six seven eight nine between them wills entering his prime langford leaving it wills started winning the fights and wills was a hell of a fighter some people criticized langford losing to wills but harry wills was a great heavyweight himself so really fighting um, a great heavyweight coming into his prime when you're leaving your prime there's really no disgrace there fight number 61 was against heavyweight puncher sam mcveigh's final fight with the great mcveigh um, which is a win he then loses his last fight to Harry Wills in pound pound fight number 62 and he closes out his pound pound record with his final great win um, that is again against a pound pounder that is fight number 63 um, of Sam Langford's pound pound record and that is against top 10 and top 3 rated pound pounder Deacon from Georgia Tiger Flowers so that is a monumental pound pound record 63 fights against pound for pounders overall um, for Sam Langford so Sam Langford's record of course after the stats he will be entered into my growing pound for pound database which now due to backdating fighters with the pound for pound stats on my retired videos has nearly 50 fighters in there already of course they will slow now because I've backdated the ones I have so it'll keep growing so let's look at Langford's pound for pound stats now when we consider him as a top 10 pound for pounder in the boxing librarian all time rankings Sam Langford was rated top 10 pound for pound for a staggering 13 years Langford was pound for pound top 3 rated for 4 years and he held the pound for pound number 1 spot for 2 years Sam Langford beat 10 individual pound for pound rated fighters and had people like Billy Papke, Tommy Burns, Marvin Hart and many more fighters even been willing to share a ring with him, he probably would have beat a lot more. Um, but considering he was so avoided, still beating 10 pound for pounders is impressive. Overall, he had 63 fights against pound for pound rated fighters and Sam Langford's overall record against pound for pounders, even counting all those defeats to Wills later on, he comes in with a record of 25 wins, 21 losses, 17 draws. Um, and consider that 12, 13 of those defeats were to Harry Wills when he was past his prime. So he actually had a fantastic pound for pound record before that. Sam Langford at the moment has the most fights against pound for pounders um, on my database. Okay, But all the stats will be broken down um, into the 10 stats I use. Um, and we shall see how he looks in late, later videos probably coming next year focusing just on some matchups between the pound for pound stats. So there's Sam Langford, my latest pound for pound video. I'm out for now.